A new blast of Arctic air has temperatures plummeting across a big portion of the country. It is 30 below zero in Riverton, Wyoming tonight. Single digits across the upper Midwest. And a snowstorm in the southwest dusting Las Vegas and blanketing parts of California. Here's Carter Evans. The snow fell so fast in Southern California, more than 200 motorists became stranded on winding mountain roads overnight and had to be rescued by snowcat. 25 miles off the coast on Catalina Island, high surf and fierce winds caused boats to break free from their moorings, killing two people, including a harbor patrol officer. A 70 mile per hour wind gusts toppled trees. In the town of Paradise, a driver died after a falling tree struck her car, and a 29-year-old man was killed in his home. The tree struck directly on this building and struck the, the individual who was in bed. Downed power lines in Orange County trapped firefighters inside their own station. By morning, the storm had dumped more than six inches of snow in low-lying valleys, breaking a snowfall record set in the 1800s. Never see this in my life, so it's a lot of snow. Ice scrapers are scarce here, so Alex Navarro used a broom. This is obviously a lot more than we've ever seen, or at least in, at least in my 27 years. Even New Year's Eve in Las Vegas is beginning to look like winter in the Midwest. And it's the same story in Arizona. The Brown family found themselves stuck in traffic for hours trying to reach the Fiesta Bowl. And for people planning to camp out overnight for the Rose Parade, hypothermia is a real threat. What's your biggest concern with the weather out here tomorrow? That people don't really don't realize what freezing is. Lisa Derdarian is with the Pasadena Fire Department. I'm worried that people may not be prepared. They may not be dressing in layers. We're used to, you know, shorts and, and uh, Hawaiian shirts most of the year. And temperatures will be back in the 70s by the weekend, but overnight it is expected to drop below freezing here in Pasadena. And Jeff, tomorrow morning could end up being the coldest in the 126-year history of the Rose Parade. Wow, Carter Evans, thank you very much.